Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Don't appear to be anymore. I've still got those two yetis there. That awakened dead there, I will grab him, and then I will come over here like this and back up a bit, and then we will do that, that, and that before I die. Ooh, I very nearly activated my um, defense mechanism there. I want, I, of course, we're going to have to find out what that thing does, aren't we? We're going to have to see what it's like. Maybe not when I've gone and spent all this time gathering up such a huge group of people, but um, it would be nice to just see it activated at least once. Just to see what it's like. Maybe when we get closer to the cooldown being finished. Right. Defiled bone, shaggy mane, pristine rune etch bone. That's the one that I wanted. Fan schmastic. Right. Uh, yeah, see, it's got an hour cooldown, so when we get close to the cooldown, maybe then, um, we'll use it, and then we'll, um, once it's been done, once it's been activated and it's allowed us to use it, then we'll be able to refresh it pretty quickly after that. I think that would be the best way to do it. Okay, Mr. Frostmange, I'd like to have a little word for you. Lucille Waycrest has gone rushing off inside. I've now got the rune that we needed, which means that I can just follow her inside the hut and we can turn in both the quests. And then we're not going to need to worry about anything else. Uh, drop that down. I haven't got any cooldown, so this is going to mean that this is going to be a slow process. Just slowly hacking our way through. This is something I am... It's the thing I am looking forward to most once I reach maximum level and starting a new character is not being a... It's not having to grind through things with tank speed. Being able to grind through things with some decent speed is going to make such a difference. It really is. It's going to be wonderful just to be able to slaughter stuff really fast. Although, on the other side of the coin, we may not have the survivability that we have had for quite some time. You know, I'm used to being able to gather up a half a dozen a creatures without too much trouble. Occasionally, we run into problems with it. But usually, taking on a half a dozen at any one time doesn't cause us any issues. Now, you watch. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab that Awakened Dead. Um, I'm taking him down because I want that monolite over there. Uh, whilst the bed in that old frost mage behind us respawns, starts attacking us before we can get back inside that house out of the way. I'm hoping he... Ooh, actually, we've taken that down pretty quick. That is pretty quick. We might be, we might better get away with this. And take that one out there. Uh, there we go. Two monolite ore like that. I'm sure you get more. I'm sure we get more than that. Like, just two for one ore. That, that, that doesn't seem right. Okay, we're in here. We're safe. I need to have a drink a minute. Right, Lucille. Hail, traveller. Uh, if bones could talk. What's this? These markings. This is the language of the Drust. The magic of the Coven must be disturbing their spirits, drawing them back into our world to fight us once more. This is unsettling. But it is another reason we must bring an end to the Heart's Bane. That was close. I'm glad to have such a capable paladin as my guardian. I would hate to be your enemy. I'm sure you're wondering why I brought you here. Located somewhere inside this cottage is a hidden door. If we can find a way to access it, the answer to your questions and possibly our survival against the coven should lie beyond. Help me search for it, Paladin. Glory to House Waycrest. I can't believe we're here. My father used to tell me stories about this place. It contains an ancient secret of our house from back when the Waycrests first settled this land. We just need to find the entrance. Okay. Let's see the boots. Pair of boots. It's a pair of boots. What did you expect? <laughs> uh, a rug. You find no hidden entrances beneath the rug. It really does tie the room together, though. <laughs> this is very true. It, it does fit. Ah. Uh, is it going to be the book, Suspiciously Protruding Book? Wall Scots. Upon closer inspection, the torch appears to... appears connected to some sort of mechanism built into the wall. I'm not going to pull on that for a minute. Let's have a look at this. Surprisingly enough, the protruding book is not a secret lever for the hidden entrance. Well, I'm guessing then that... The, oh, wait a minute. An anchor. Right, what's the bedding if I do something with that one? 
It's gonna hurt me. Oh, that's it. The way is opening. It's kind of hope. Well, I, I, okay. So what would what did the anchor say? Maybe I shouldn't have pulled. I should have seen. I should have read the anchor first. Oh well. Drustbar stands firm. You found it. I knew there were more than sto They were more than stories. Come, let us see what's inside. What lie beyond are more ruins, much like those the Coven sought. However, these ruins served a different purpose, one that established the legacy of House Waycrest thousands of years ago. Let us head inside and I will explain. Keep your sails true. Right. Long on ago, when Kultiris was first settled, our people encountered a savage group of warmongering barbarians. They called themselves the Drust. Drustbar was their ancestral home. It was from here that they launched endless raids into our fledgling hamlets. This carried on for countless years, until the ancestors of House Waycrest decided that something had to be done. Wait! What was that? Probably something bad. Look out! Uh, yeah, that would be something bad. The um, statues are not so statuesque anymore. Right. Well, they shouldn't be too difficult to take down. They're um, they're made of stone, and um, I have a, a, a miner's outfit and a pickaxe as my weapon. I am made for this fight. I am made for this fight. Pickaxe as my weapon and miner's outfit. I've even got the miner's oh, help. I'm sorry, Mainlander. The Coven's magic must be disturbing the spirits of the ancient Drust. We'll have to be careful. Can't mine them, though. That's unfortunate. My ancestors fought against stone constructs, much like these in their war against the Drust. The Waycrests have always been hearty folk, but the Drust's magic was strong. We were losing the war. In the end, it was our scholars that turned the tide. And how did they do that? Have I got to fight all of this lot? Probably. Wait. There we out. go. Right. Don't worry. I will save you. I am a big, strong, noble paladin. I do this stuff for a living. Don't worry. Okay. I'm a professional. I've got it all in hand. I've even got a squeaky elephant toy to throw at them to really just, like, generally confuse them. Because um, no one in their right mind would fight a grown warrior that is oh, throwing plushy you, toys at them. I thought that one had me for a moment. Nope. I got you back. As I was saying, the tide of the war shifted when our scholars began to uncover weaknesses in the Drust's magic. They compiled what they learned into a treatise on weapons and tactics that could be used to defeat the barbarians. Armed with this knowledge, our men started driving the Drust back into their mountain holds. They kept that knowledge hidden here, safe from unwanted hands. Be another attack now. I can feel it in my waters. Maybe not. Hmm. It looks like some rubble blocks our path ahead. Can you clear the way? Uh, probably. Wait. Something's not right. Mainlander, behind you! Oh, wow. Okay, he is a little bit bigger than we've previously dealt with, but it's okay. I'm going to activate those two like that. And my plushy toy is going to be available in a minute, right? Plushy toys are very good. They're, they're highly effective. Right, they throw confusion. I mean, let's face it. If you are in the middle of epic combat and he pulls out a plushy toy and he throws it at you, you're going to stop for just a minute and be like, what the... What? what? Why? What's going on? This dude is obviously several levels of expertise above me if that is what he's using to do anything. Um, he's using that as his weapon of choice. This, this dude's got some, like, either he's got some serious issues or there is something about him that I haven't even begun to fathom yet. It's going to throw them, right? No matter what happens, doing something like that is going to throw the enemy 
beyond what you would normally expect and it's going to work in your benefit right it it it, it definitely going to work in help construct that big before are you all right yep i'm fine i'm a miner see <laughs> what am i saying of course you're all right i can see it'll take more than a few stones to bring you down is Come she along. flirting with me the book should be in here seriously is she flirting with me here it is the last resting place of the order of embers are you ready to revive ancient history? That's that quest that we got. Mission, over here. We've got three hours left. Order of Ember's Commendation. Nice. What is your business with House Waycrest? Who would have thought that from this stuffy little chamber would rise some of the greatest warriors of House Waycrest history? Are you prepared to follow in their footsteps? The Order of Embers was the name given to those who took up those uh, these arms against the Drust. Using the tools and methods uncovered by the scholars, they were able to counter the Drust magic and ensure our victory in the war. If the Coven wants to use the Drust magic against us, then we'll use the Order's weapons against them. The knowledge of the Order rests here, but without a hand to wield it, it will do us no good. Will you be that hand, Paladin? Will you revive the Order of Embers? If you are prepared to follow the path of the Order, take up the book. The knowledge within will grant you, as well as our forces, the edge needed to destroy the foul coven that plagues our land. This is a momentous occasion. This, is, this has not been done for hundreds of years, if not longer. Right there. Right, but we need to just take a moment to appreciate the gravity of the situation, right? Just, just take a moment to appreciate it. Are you tired? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Well, I thought it was worth a shot. I mean, she's obviously flirting with me. Okay, well, well we won't do that because otherwise Sen's going to find out and she can get mad. Tome of Silver and Ash. Right. Drustbar stands firm. What say you? Yeah, I'll do it. Why not? I got nothing else. I got nothing better to do. You do great honour to my family, Paladin. The most noble of Waycrests were once inquisitors of the Order. It is only fitting that it is you who takes up its mantle now. Following will be cast. While in Drustvar, killing an aberration elemental or undead grants 1% haste for 1 minute, stacking up to 20 times. That is actually a pretty good buff. I like that. It only It's only while in Drustvar, but that's still pretty good. I like that. That is very good. Another 100 artifact power. Boom. Achievement progress. Right there. Heart of Azeroth gains 100 power. Reputation with the Order of Embers increased by 3,850. You are now friendly with the Order of Embers. Um, artifact power is going up. We need to get some more gear for the artifact to use the artifact power. That's what we need. Let us continue to Aram Stand. It will take some time to pass the knowledge of the Tome and train more Inquisitors for our cause. If the Order's weapons are as effective against the Coven as they were against the Drust, we may stand a chance of rescuing my family and restoring this land to its former glory. I will make my way there on foot until we meet again, Paladin. Right. Thus is reborn the Order of Embers. Now then, I believe we have some witches to kill. Our work here is done, Mainlander. I'll meet you at Aram Stand. There was definitely a bloodthirsty tone to her voice when she was talking about killing the witches. Right, that is a woman that you do not want to cross. Uh, yeah, she, she, she was, she's mad. She, she was mad there. Okay, there's no two ways about it. She, she was just angry there. Um, there's some bad juju about to go down with those people. So we need to come out of here and we run back onto there and we can meet the High Thorn Speaker over there and find out whatever it is that he wants us to do. And then we're on again. There is a flight point over there. Right. I'm just wondering if I should half back to the inn and then go from there. I don't think I will. I think I will just go from here. And I do have that one, which allows us to speed through here a little bit. Except that I don't think I want to speed that way. I need to go this way. So I've mostly wasted the benefit of that little speed boost, which is a bit of a shame. There is a, a, a 
achievement. There is a thing you can get that will grant you two charges of that instead of one, I think. I mean, it might be a talent. It might be one of the talents. Um, I'm not 100% sure. There we go. We got the forgotten lock. Really? This is the hidden cave that you can actually get to from around the back of the building. He says, getting stuck behind the building. Okay, maybe I can't get to it from round the back of the building, but it certainly looks like you can get to it from round the back of the building. Uh... Oh, he, he is here, and he's attacking me. Right, I know that I can run away from this dude, because I've done it before. I was kind of hoping that he would have been phased out, and then I wouldn't have had to face him, but apparently that is not going to be the case. So I will just run down here. I haven't seen any pets, actually. Alright, I have not seen any pets coming up on the minimap for a, a minute or two. I want to go this way and, and run up over here. Ah, there's the monolite. I knew there was monolite here somewhere. I grab that a minute. I've got... Uh, it's a yeti. And... No, he's not going to let me do it. Okay, so I will go down over here like this. Now, I'll get the Alpine Falcon as well as the Chilfer Yeti. Take both of these out very quickly like this. It won't take very long. And then once I've done that, I can mine that little bit of stuff that we've got there. And then when I've done that, we can go on up the road. And we need to find the trader. He's not going to be very far ahead, is he? He's, he's literally just up there. It's, it's high thorn speaker dude right there. Uh, Alpine Falcon, whatever it is. Hooked Talon there. Right, now, Monolite Deposit. Grab that bit. And then, three Monolite Ore. We are halfway through level um, 113 at the moment. I've got more ore over this side, which I'll go and grab a minute. Right there. I've got a lot of ore. We'll be able to go and do stuff with that soon. Uh, yeah, halfway through level 113, so it's not going to take all that long before we do reach our maximum level. Uh, there's another undead over that side. There's more undead on our right-hand side. There's undead everywhere around here. This, this is not good. There is the thing or person or whatever it is that I need to... Hey, Grundorn, over here. In a minute. Shinies. They have shinies. Shinies are very important. There, Storm Silver Ore. Okay. Ah, oh, the trade wind. Glad you could make it, Grondorn. Let me know when you're ready, and I can take you up to Ulfar. I'm ready to go. Why are we going to Ulfar? Uh, I need to jump onto his back. Okay, the, the whole being able to turn into other wooden creatures is pretty cool. I like that. Ulfar can be a hard teacher, but he's fair. Why am I going to Ulfar? Who is this Ulfar? He and others have been guiding uh, guiding me since I heard the calling when I was little. My parents wanted me to be in the Navy. Can you imagine that? I can't. I'm too rooted. Get it? Okay, that was pretty bad. Anyway, we're here. Special delivery for you, sir. Oh, far. Right. So, uh, uh, so what is it? Are these, like, people that have then become druids, but they've, like, become super druids or something? What do you ask of the Thorn Speakers? It has been a long time since a mainlander stepped foot in my grove. Do you wish to learn from the Thorn Speakers, or have you come to lay claim to this land as your kind are so fond of doing? Uh, who are you? Are you druids? You're a drust? Wasn't there a war against them? Let's do this bit first. What do you have here, mainlander? I see. My students met with much stronger threats than we'd expected. Thank you for helping them. Maintain the balance. Always maintain the balance. We strike back against the darkness. Uh... So what else am I supposed to do here, then? There's something over there. A Thane, key, secret keeper of the forest. I guess I... Well, let's, let's speak to them. Who are you? I am Ulfar, the last of the Drust Thorn Speakers and the teacher of these students. One day my task will be over. I will return to the Earth and a new High Thorn Speaker will rise to lead, as is the proper way of things. But that day has not yet come. Are you druids? We are, Grundorn. We are guardians of the balance in nature. 
the keepers of the cycle. Life is a part of nature, as is death. You're addressed, wasn't there a war? Indeed I am. Not all of my people agreed with the conflict. Have you never seen division among your own? We Thorn Speakers joined Kul'Tiran society. Some of their descendants heard the call of the wilds and wished to learn the ancient ways, and so we have taught them. Stand strong. And you, Ulfar. Uh, I don't really know. I've turned in a quest here, but there doesn't seem to be anything else to do with this dude at the moment. We'll take a little mosey around his cave and see if there's anything else in here, but it doesn't look like it. You've got... A Thane, Secret Keeper of the Forest. And... There's nothing else here. I've got... A rather nice little sort of bedchamber in that in here. I mean, if it stays reasonably warm in here, it's certainly going to be dry. It's not a bad sort of place to sleep, is it? I like that. I actually do. I, I genuinely like that. Although I would personally, I'd want some sort of um, like maybe a, a bit of a, a roof over there because I'd be concerned that um, bits of stone and gravel or maybe even moisture would just drip and fall from the roof up there. Um, and that's going to end up waking you up, isn't it? All right, let's, let's be honest. That, that that would just end up waking you up, and it, it would just really annoy you. Um, so, yeah, the, the, there is that downside to it. Okay, so I've gone all the way up here. What is the point of me being up here on this mountain top? I've got Thorn Speaker Student there. Arthur Tradewind right there. Right. He's not talking to me. Uh, there's a Thorn Speaker student there. So now what? You've dragged me up here for what? I don't get it. There's no follow on. There's no reason for bringing me up here. Uh, well, I suppose, like, they've shown me that bit. Maybe there's something that will come later on, or maybe this is, like, just a dead end that has got nothing else to it. I've got Ulfar's den there, and I can go up to here. I, I don't know if I can climb up any further. Is there a way I can scramble up? I can't scramble up there. No, that's not happening. Um, no. All right. Well, it appears that we've just kind of been we, we've walked up there, and we, we've um, been introduced to another little area up here for just just for the sake of it. Um, I don't know if there's going to be quests to go back there later or something like that. Maybe it wouldn't surprise me. We have had stuff like that in the past, but it could just be a flavor thing. I'm just a little bit confused. They don't normally put that big a flavor thing on the sidelines. Like it's, it's quite a big chunk of the map right there. You've got a big area there that we've just used up to do that. and So that does seem a little bit strange. You've got that great big mountain stuck up there. It's this side. It is this side. But anyway, never mind. We want to carry on. We need to meet Lucille Waycrest over here somewhere. I've got a quest there and I've got ore up here. i grab the ore first. Aram's Crossing. What's that? Snowdrift Prowler Corpse. Okay, three of those, and then we can come down here, and I've got a um, quest there. What's this? What's going on? Wanted poster. The Waycrest Guard is offering a reward for any hunter who can track down and eliminate the Rhyme Huntress from the vicinity of High Road Pass. Track her with caution. She is a ferocious beast and has been known to ambush even seasoned hunters. Suggested players three. Eh, uh, not me, though. Why is it when you tell a seven-year-old boy not to do something, he does it anyway? Uh, that's the same whether they're seven or fourteen. Yeah, we, we, we get exactly the same result from our fourteen-year-olds. So, um, yeah, it's, it's not unique to seven-year-olds. I can promise you that. There, Platinum Deposit. Okay, somewhere around here, we've got to find the Rhyme Huntress. So, I've got Snowdrift Prowlers. The Rhyme Huntress is down this way. Ah. Right, so I don't quite know what's up the hill up there, but the Rhyme Huntress is down that way somewhere, and we 
I'm going to take a little bit of a mosey on down here. We're going to see if we can find her. What have we got? Snowdrift Prowlers. There. More snow... I wonder if this is going to be one of those things where you've got to kill a whole load of them in order to get her to spawn. Or, nope, apparently not. She's just here wandering it's around. Too far away. Uh, so if I go right there, 181,000 health. This is going to be one of those things that takes absolutely ages, isn't it? This is going to be one of those that just takes ages. We've just got to slowly beat our way through it. This is all we're going to end up doing. This is basically what we've got. Is uh, rather than going into the fight with a sword or a decent mace or something like that. What we've got is you know the kids um, play sets where you have like a, a small um, small little wooden hammer. That you use to knock pegs into, thing, into a board. That's what we got. That's what we're using, is we got one of those little tiny wooden hammers. And that's that's the effectiveness that we have right here. Um, and we just got to keep tapping away until she eventually um, gives up and falls over dead from sheer boredom. Because nothing else is going to work. At least that's what it seems like. That's what it seems like with the speed that we managed to get through this. But we're not doing too bad, I suppose. We're, we're down to 36%. We've killed two-thirds of her. Two thirds down, it's taken one minute so far because I popped that one almost immediately. So yeah, we're looking at roughly one minute into this so far. We're down to 25%. Um, let's just keep, I mean, if the shield can keep going, that shield's the one that does the most damage. Um, yeah, there's no point in doing the blinding light or anything like that. I just want anything that gives us a damage boost. Like, literally, it's anything that will give us a damage boost of some kind. Um look like I've got anything to worry about particularly and there right Ooh, we got the shield back up again finally she's down but the, you know I mean with the hunter it's gonna be all right there we got three thousand uh, six thousand XP all together on that one with the hunter um, it's it's gonna be pretty good because you can use a pet that will do a load of damage but you use the you have the pet as a tank you have a tank pet and then you do the damage with your um, with your bow or your gun or whatever it is that you're going to use. Um, you can do it another way. There are some pets that sort of half tank, half damage. Um, the Ravagers are particularly good pets, from what I've heard. They are they are quite cool. Um, they do a lot of damage, but they can also withstand quite a bit as well. They're fairly robust creatures, so you can sort of do a bit of both. What am I looking at here? Oh, it's up there. Right. Who are you? You are... Oh, you're just Waycrest Guard. Uh, that one there. That's what I'm after. Monolite Deposit. I knew I'd seen something here. And we have made it to Aram Stand, which means that we can go... In... There's a flight point here somewhere. There's a flight point right there. Let's go and get that flight point a second before I do anything else. Although... Yeah, there it is. Right, flight point. Get that one. I'm now able to travel a little bit further. Excellent. That's more like it. Now, where's the innkeeper? There's got to be an innkeeper around here as well. We'll... Well, we've got a stable master. We've got a guard. The falconer. Uh, I don't know. There's there's a chest up this way. I know there's a chest up this way. So that should be some more res uh, war resources. Those are ever so important. And now it's down the other side. So it's, it's around here somewhere. There's an ongoing battle here. Uh, chest is... Let's see if I can get round behind the enemy. There's the chest. Okay. I've got that one there. If I just go for this one, don't go for anything else. You should be able to grab the chest and take this guy out. Well, folks, that's all we got time for today. Even the mightiest heroes sometimes need a bit of rest. And we are far from the mightiest, so we're very, very tired. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.